Hey, welcome to Getting It Done North of 7. I got a water softener fix for you today. If you notice that your water doesn't feel the same anymore, you know how you, when you have a water softener, you kind of get that slippery feeling and all of a sudden it just feels like it's not there anymore, it's dry. I have another possible problem you might have. I have two other videos on water softener fixes. This is the first time I've ever seen this issue and I'm gonna share it with you right now. So for about the last two weeks, I kind of knew there was something going on with the water softener. The water just didn't feel the same. Um, the other people in my family, they didn't notice. I kept bringing it up, nobody noticed it, but I had a feeling there was something going on and it was time for me to fill up the water softener with some new salt. I actually don't fill it right up. I only put it up to about number four. I just put one bag in at a time and then I let it go down. So yeah, it was time to do that again. So I thought, well, now is the perfect time to check. And I had a suspicion, I knew what it was, but it was something similar, but different. So what we have here is we have the tube that goes down here in the side of the tank. And inside there's a float mechanism. This is the float mechanism. So when the water comes into this tube, the water pushes this up and it operates the water softener it has something to do with it, much like a toilet. <laughs> So I thought, well, this tube is down in the tank here like this. And I thought, well, these must be clogged on the outside. These slots here, I hope you can see that. So these are the slots I was talking about. I thought this would be clogged on, on the outside of these. So I pulled the tube out just now. So this is what I found, a big salt clog inside the tube. So no water was coming in through here and maybe just a bit of water coming in up here a little bit higher. And I'll bet you that this float wasn't rising all the way up like it's supposed to. So this water softener was not functioning properly. So all I have to do is empty this salt clog out. The salt clog only goes to about here. So it's only like four inches of salt clog. I'll get rid of it and then we'll put the tube back in. I'll show you exactly how I got the float out and how I got this tube out of here. It's not a hard job, I'll just show you quickly. But first we're gonna get a bucket here. We're gonna grab this tube and we're just gonna empty this salt clog out. So now you can see that it's empty. You can see right through that tube. All right, before we put the tube back down in the salt tank, I scooped out, uh, I'd say three, two and a half small buckets of the salt. And you see in the corner there, that's where the tube fits. It's kind of got like a cutout for it. Um, I cleaned that out really good because I think that's what happened. I put the tube back in before. There was really not much salt in there, but it was just enough to clog it inside that tube. So this time I'm gonna, I cleaned it right out. That was a mistake I made and I learned from it. <laughs> so this time I cleaned it out perfectly. And when I put the tube down there, it'll be flush with the base of the salt tank and there will be no more salt clog inside that tube. So what I did was not only did I scoop it out, I used a ice fishing scoop to scoop the salt out. I also used my shop vac to suck up any water so I could see that corner right down in there and make sure it's perfectly clean. Okay, so now we can put the tube back down in there. Make sure all this salt's out of these little slots. Looks clear, it looks good. So we'll put this back down in here. And we'll put our screw in that holds the tube in place and the spacer. And we'll put our washer and our wing nut back on. Now we can take our float make sure everything's in good shape here we're all clear we're free and we're going to put it back down inside the tube just lower it in nicely just like that we're done everything should work really good now and we can start adding more salt to the tank i hope you enjoyed this water softener fix like i said i've never seen this before and I'm glad I checked because it wasn't working properly and that was a simple fix and now it'll work properly and it may help somebody else who's not sure what is wrong with their water softener. If you found this useful, hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next one.